Aphids are some of the most annoying animals I can get in my garden. I'm pruning my Aeonimus and now already this tree is showing aphids. Aeonimus is one of the first species in my garden to get aphids. Now what can you do to stop aphids from infecting your tree? From keeping the predatory animals that bring the aphids to your tree from reaching it? And yeah, how do you treat the tree that does have aphids? In this video, three tips against aphids on your bonsai. So you might wonder, why do we have garlic on the table? Dishwashing soap? Or cleaning alcohol? What are these for? And how do they link to bonsai and growing plants in spring? The answer is easy. If you pay attention and you look carefully in the crown of your tree, you might see little things moving. In case you're wondering what predatory animals do collect and move aphids around, those are of course ants. Yes, ants and aphids. The ants actually farm the aphids. So stopping the ants from getting to your trees is a good way to reduce the pressure of aphids on your tree. In early spring, aphids are quite common on many trees. Of course, there's a way to get rid of these. Um, you can use lots of, I don't know, poison. You can spray and fumigate all your plants. But maybe that is not such a great idea. Aphids are being eaten by a lot of other animals. Be it other insects, such as the lacewing or the ladybug, but also by birds. Maybe there's another way to get rid of aphids. And that is what I'd like to talk to you about today. Just before we continue, if you do like my videos, Maybe hit subscribe, hit like. Let's take a look at where aphids come from. Um, in general, aphids overwinter as eggs dormant on the bark of a tree. A rough bark maple, for instance, has a lot of fissures and it's easy for insect eggs to survive the winter. But also ants take them. Yes, ants. Ants will take aphids into their nest to keep them there for winter and in spring they bring them out. This explains why within a day or two, all of a sudden your whole maple could be covered with aphids. So the first way to deal with that is to make sure that they can't get to your plant. One way to do that is with little trays. You have one tray, you fill this with a centimeter of water and you put the next tray inside. Then you can put the legs of your stand in the dry tray and the aphids cannot bridge the water. Or if you just have a few trees, you can also do it like this. You have one tray, you fill it with water, with an upside down tray on top. Then you take the plant that you want to protect from the ants and you put that one on top of the dry tray. Yes, hang on a second, you say. I already have aphids, I already have ants. Now what do I do? Well. It's quite easy. You have to make sure that you kill the aphids. Yes, kill them, get rid of them. And how I do that, I take a big spray can. I put dishwashing liquid in it. I add rubbing alcohol. and I fill it up with water. Shake it gently and then just spray the whole tree. Make sure you spray every single part of the tree. Don't worry about it dripping off. As you can see, this Arakawa maple is dealing with a full coat of foam. This way, all the aphids that are on the tree will suffocate, similar to the ants. And then of course, there was the garlic. Garlic has a very strong smell. As such, you can use it to keep insects at bay. You can do this by grinding up the garlic and putting it in water and letting it soak. Then you, you strain the liquid and you put it in a spray can and you spray all your trees with it. This will keep insects away for maybe two weeks. Or you do what I do. I don't use this fresh garlic. 
I go to the supermarket and I buy myself dried ground garlic. This powder I just spray on top of each pot and as such every plant smells of garlic. It sounds strange, but for two to four weeks most insects will stay away from my trees. This is a very nice protective measure to get ants, aphids and other animals out of your trees. Um, I hope this helped. I wish you lots of luck with your trees and see you next time. Keep growing bonsai.